We're Trent and Allie, and we're preparing for a big reveal. In this envelope is the sex of our baby. And Bob Ross is over here creating a masterpiece. At the very beginning, and you're like, what is this thing? This guy has no idea what he's doing. And then when it's done, it's beautiful. We're buckling down to get this phase over quickly. At this point, I don't know when we'll be able to move into this house. Probably never moving. <laughs> don't this is just say a, that. This is just a playhouse. It's a no. project. But even if we can't move in yet, I'm ready for a big change. You know, hair grows back, so it should be fine. Um, but I'm nervous. <laughs> Come along today as we get one step closer to completing our dream home. What is up guys? Good morning, welcome back. We are getting an early start on it today. Brandon just showed up and I don't know if you guys caught some of our last episodes, but I got a haircut and I shaved my beard and then I was out in the sun and there's no hair on the back of my head and the back of my head is fried. It's so burnt. It like hurts to even wear a hat, but you look like you're 15. I look like I'm 15 and I'm not going to let it stop me. It hurts, but it's fine. We're going to get to work. We also got in touch with the guys that do the metal roof and they said basically in about two weeks, they're going to get us some of the parts that we need to put the roof together but I'm gonna continue putting up the sunroom roof the way that we've been doing it until all the panels are on to protect the roof as much as possible. And then we're gonna be going back to mudding and we're probably gonna be mudding for about a month. So I guess we better get started. Come on, Brank. Oh, at least there's a little bit of cloud cover this morning and it's not super hot. <sighs> I guess we'll get started on the roof. It's been a super productive morning so far. The guys started working on the roof. They've already transitioned back over to mudding. Things are moving quickly and it's not super hot out, which is amazing because for the past few days, it's been 104, 105 degrees. Today, it's like kind of overcast and mellow, at least for right now, which I'm really enjoying. Full disclosure, uh... Allie just barely came outside. Brandon and I decided to call it quits outside because the sun was so intense. Turn and around. Then some, uh, some, what? Turn around. Why? That's how intense it was. <laughs> yeah, I had to come in because it was burning my neck. Um, you had back sweat all over your back. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was really hot. <laughs> and uh, we're just having some issues, and I think I need an extra tool for bending the, the edges of the roof to make it work properly. But also, we realized that the metal roofing uh, company sent us one panels too little. Oh so my we're gosh. missing one panel to do that. We're probably missing two panels to do the roof. So I need to get on the phone and, and oh place that order gosh. today and get that taken care of. Luckily, there's lots of projects we can be working on right now. It's not just like the roof is our only target. So it's a good thing that you started working on the roof a little bit, figured out what you still need and what they didn't send you enough of. Uh, so we can try to get that figured out and continue working on other things and making some progress because at this point, I don't know when we'll be able to move into this house. We're probably never moving. <laughs> don't this is just say a, that. This is just a playhouse. It's a no. project. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing today because last time I feel like the mud was just not being like super easy to work with. And I know just like taking the mud out of the box with the, with the knife is just like not necessarily the best the best case scenario. So I'm going to be doing today what ugh, pros will generally do. Look at that, just like frosting, huh? Yeah, don't eat that. One of my favorite things. Ooh. Big wow, that does look way better than last time. See how time. like buttery and smooth it is? Yeah. I don't know if it makes like an enormous difference, but we're basing everything off of like, I saw this once on the internet. <laughs> these corners so he can mud them. Oh. It's 
definitely been so nice living up here during the summer though, even if the winters are really intense. In the summer, it legitimately gets to be over 100 Fahrenheit almost every day in the valley for like four or five weeks straight. It's really, really hot. And being up here, it's like about 20 degrees cooler consistently and makes a huge difference to be working on the house and just to like be sleeping especially. And uh, I'm really grateful for the elevation during the summer. It's amazing. Right, Lika? Unfortunately, it is a little bit warmer today than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Those clouds that were so beautiful earlier have already moved on and it's hot and sunny again. So I'm gonna bring the guys up some cold, fresh grapes, make sure everybody is staying hydrated and uh, just try to deal as best we can with this heat. You're spelunking. Spelunking. <laughs> Looking for buried treasure. <laughs> Haven't found any yet. It's nice and cool down here at least. Yeah, that is a plus. Here, turn around. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. Underwhelming. <laughs> That's good. Chocolate or something delicious. Thank you. And how's it going? Just like a guy trying to mud for the first time. so pretty in here. The flower? Yeah. The one flower? Or one plant. It's cool because um, Target and a couple other stores make really cheap, really easy maternity clothes that are just like very versatile. And I've gotten a couple now because I'm getting to the point where I definitely need them at least like in the pants and, and sh shorts section of my life. Um, but maternity clothes kind of just are like a one size fits all. You pick your pre-pregnancy size and then they put a band in the shorts to make the like waistband a lot bigger. And so I'm wearing their shorts, but like there's a lot of room for expansion. Basically, I haven't fully grown into them yet. So they're kind of like falling off of me. I feel like I need a belt a little bit, but it's definitely more comfortable than wearing regular shorts at this time. It's just like they're, I feel like one of the guys with my pants hanging. All right, so Allie is chomping at the bit. She really wants to help. Allie is gonna run the power mixer, the hand mixer. I kind of messed up when I ordered parts because I only ordered one uh, mud hawk and we probably need like three so that everybody can be slapping mud on the walls and try to make it go a little bit faster. But this is just uh, very, very time consuming. I've got basically the screws and the joints pre-filled in the main staircase going downstairs and then under the stairs. And that literally took probably like a few hours today and a couple hours the other day. So it's gonna take a long time to mud and tape this whole house. You just hold the trigger the whole time. All right, some nice freshly whipped, smooth, creamy mud. And now is uh, when we move on to all of the more visible things. Like when visitors come over, maybe if they come to take a tour or something, we'll like take them downstairs. But most of the time people are not gonna be going downstairs, at least guests. And if you wanna have your house look presentable, you're thinking about the guests. And we're thinking about guests. And I guess the guests aren't going downstairs. The next place they're probably not going is inside the back walls of the pantry. So I can do the pantry. And then basically all of the kitchen walls are going to be covered in either backsplash or cabinets or something of the sort. So we can also mud that and it doesn't have to look pretty, thankfully. Uh, as long as you get it like nice and thin, it's pretty simple, it's common sense and uh, I'm enjoying this for sure. What I'm not enjoying is Trent slopping it all over the house. You know, you add a little bit of water to it to make it a little thinner so that you can work with it a little bit more. And it turns out that it's just like dripping and dropping and oh looping and clapping all over the place. Bob Ross is basically just doing like the like splotches and splats at the very beginning. And you're like, what is this thing? This guy has no idea what he's doing. And then when it's done, it's beautiful. So you're, you're just judging a book by its cover. This is the transformation in progress. This is Bob Ross. So you just get yourself a little blob. 
I know this looks super common sense and super easy, but what you want to do is go like sideways to fill the hole and down to clean the hole. So two different directions. You don't just like go the same direction over again. Go ahead. Oh! What? No, just the screws, honey. Oh, we're not doing the taping? No, no, no. Oh. I'll, I'll do the corners. Oh. Because All right, it's turning into a very hot day. My parents are coming in just about 72 hours. I'm really excited about that. And yesterday we picked up something incredible from the hospital. In this envelope is the sex of our baby. And all I want to do is open it and like breathe on it, try to like let it unseal itself so that I can look at it um, even secretly, which I know is so terrible, but I'm doing everything I can to not look, even though it's here in our house and killing me. Um, and in just a couple days, we will open it and we will find out if it's a boy or a girl. Very excited. Obviously, our main priority is just to have a healthy baby. We really don't care if it's a boy or a girl. Soon, very soon. And in the meantime, um, it's gonna be great having my parents around because we don't get to see them that often. We have some really fun surprises planned for while they're here, which we're excited to show you guys and take you along for as well. Um, and that's basically where my head's at today, is just trying to like plan and prepare this big reveal party and stuff uh, that is happening while my parents are in town. And I know I need to be helping Trent and Brandon work on the house, but I'm just really excited that uh, it's finally here. 20 weeks, guys, the 20 week mark, halfway, half baked, 20 down, 20 to go. Feels good. It feels really good to have gotten this far. And I'm just savoring each day. How's it going in here? Did you take a nap? Negative. Oh, uh, I thought you were napping. But I got a lot of work done. Okay. I'm a mess. Look at me. Yeah, wow. I'm really bad at this. Really? Yeah. It just looks like uh, the first time I tried to frost a cake, <laughs> which also didn't go well. <laughs> It may not look like much, but this is huge progress. This room is officially done with the first coat. And uh, now we're moving on to the rest of the entire house. The kitchen is like three quarters of the way done. And uh, the stairs are done, so. They're done with the pre-filling and the first coat on the screws. So we're maybe like, 7% of the way done. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yay. Almost a whistle. <sighs> Stored for the evening. Clean, 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 clean. There's one thing that I've heard, and that's that the cardinal sin of drywall is not cleaning your tools when you're done. As soon as you're done, you clean everything so that the next day you have nice, new, clean tools to work with. And uh, cleaned everything except for this knife that Allie was using. So I'll clean that one up really quick. Glad oh, you saw that. This might not be like super hard work, but. I'm exhausted. What's up guys and good morning. Before we get started today, I wanted to let you guys know today's video is sponsored by Omaze. 
If you guys don't know who Omaze is, they're a company that gives away one-of-a-kind prizes, and right now they are actually giving away a Mercedes-Benz 4x4 Sprinter with an $80,000 eco-friendly package from Van Smith. This Mercedes-Benz 4x4 Sprinter van has a fully converted interior and your choice of adventure-ready exterior upgrades. It's fully off-grid with rooftop solar panels and comes with Van Smith's green package of all-natural build materials, including wool insulation, blue-stained pine ceiling, and bamboo countertops. Omaze is actually giving you guys a really unique opportunity where you can actually support the Honold Foundation, which is Alex Honold, the famous rock climber. He's like an idol of mine and always has been. And the Honold Foundation helps to solve global energy poverty. So they basically help people with solar and all different types of things when they don't have electricity in specific areas. You can learn more about them if you go to omaze.com slash T and A and potentially win a 4x4 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter with $80,000 worth of customizations. Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna finish my coffee and we're gonna go inside and get back to work. You look like a painter. Oh, I look like a mess. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I just put on the same clothes from yesterday because <laughs> I know I'm just going to get even more crap on them today. <laughs> we're going to head in and we're just going to start putting more mud on the walls because, hey, got nothing else to do. As much as I would love to be there for this fun work, this uh, Play-Doh and plaster and very much Bob Ross style inspired work, I have a haircut today, which I'm really excited about. I only get my haircut like once or twice a year and it's really hot out and I've been growing my hair out for years and I'm really starting to think that today is going to be a major haircut. <laughs> Guessing when Allie comes home today, she's gonna look quite different. So she's going on a little adventure this morning herself. Brandon and I are gonna go inside and just like I said, start mudding. All right, well, Allie has taken off. She's gone to get her Shirley Temple on. Last time she got her hair cut by this lady that's cutting her hair right now, she did an incredible job and she actually cut it a lot shorter than I think Allie wanted it, but I absolutely loved it. It was like, like about shoulder height, had like a lot of spring to it. And then the lady colored it and she actually colored it almost the color of my hair. And this was when we were in Costa Rica and when we flew back to Costa Rica, she looked like Shirley Temple and we looked like two redheads and it was, it was really cute. I don't think she's gonna be getting any color today. I think she's just gonna be getting her hair cut, but I'm really excited to see what she looks like after uh, this lady cuts her hair. We, on the other hand, have got our work cut out for us per usual. I was just looking at some of the work that uh, we did yesterday and it looks okay. Almost all of the kitchen is done except for the top seam up here and the ceiling, which I'm sure the ceiling is gonna take a long time because it's gonna be a huge pain in the butt. This whole section is done. Now I can start working on all of this and the bedroom and the bathroom upstairs and the sunroom. Ugh. We've got a full day of mudding ahead of us. Brandon and I are gonna get to work. Happy day. All right, I just pulled up to get my hair cut and I'm a little nervous. I really only get my hair cut like once, maybe twice a year. And I always get a trim. I always get the exact same thing every time because if you have curly hair, you know. If you do anything more than a trim, you risk it'll become so short that it goes out wider than it hangs long and I just can't pull that off. So. I'm interested today to see what Amanda thinks because she is a hair magician. She works with curly hair specifically. And I think I'm gonna have her help me figure out how to get my hair a little bit shorter without it exploding. You know, hair grows back, so it should be fine. Um, but I'm nervous. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so cute. Thank you. How are you feeling? I feel good. Good morning. I'm Amanda Patton from Curly Hair Studio in Salt Lake City. And I specialize in curly hair. I was telling them earlier, every year I just get a trim. And today I want to do, you wanna do something, sassy. something else. Well, look at you. This is exciting. <laughs> I know. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god. I know. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. And it's not even as short as you could be. Woo, that's You'll really okay. short. Yeah. <laughs>
I've only been here for about 20 minutes, but in the short time that I've been able to watch, these guys finished mudding completely, and now it's time to tape. No, we still gotta do the big wall. <laughs> I got most of it, honestly, the, the pre-filling and the nails. Like, all this is done. Everything except for up there mm. and up there. That's fine. But, and sunroom. <laughs> like, I put in a full day. Yeah, you did. I like didn't even go to the bathroom. Wow. Like, basically just. How's your tummy feeling? Mudded all day. Well, this is the only thing in there. So. <laughs> uh, Lika. Lika always licking the drywall tools. You nest. Lika likes to licka. Lika like a licka. Anyway, we are going to go and disassemble the roof nest and take it off of the Forerunner now because we're not going camping anytime soon and it's really cutting down on the fuel mileage because yeah. it's not very aerodynamic so brandon and i are going to go bust that out before he takes off and it's friday so we're just getting ready for the yeah. weekend and in the next episode we actually have some special guests that you guys are going to meet Yay. or see you, you already know who they are <laughs> anyway It's so hot. We need a house. Yeah. We need a house with AC. Yeah. Dean! <laughs> Finish even, our house for us. I already told Dean, don't worry about the air conditioning until next year. Oh my gosh. Because we're not going to be in until it's like cold. Mm. And uh, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> I don't know. We're definitely not going to be in in the next like month or two and it should cool down by then. So okay. it's probably a, a safe assumption, but. That was some work, man. Yeah, you guys are killing it. I do not envy this job at all. Out of all the trades that we've done so far, I think this is the hardest and most time consuming and meticulous and mad respect to tapers and mutters because this is just, it's a lot of work. It's been like two and a half days. Yeah, it's not even just done. Just pre-filling and doing screws and it's not even done. Yeah. Probably be three and a half days. Three and a half days to pre-fill and do the screws and then Three and a half days to tape, three and a half days for the first coat, three and a half days for the second coat, third coat, fourth coat, five times three and a half is what? 17 and a half? Yeah, three weeks. That's good. Oh man. <laughs> we got, yeah, woo! And then we gotta get some paint and paint the walls, and then it'll feel like a house. Okay. And I'll feel like we've made a lot of progress. <laughs> And then after that, it feels like it should be a breeze, even though it's not going to be a breeze. I might be hey. contracting out something outside the house. I'm not going to tell you guys right now because it's still kind of up in the air. It's but exciting. Trying to get some extra stuff done so that we can have a house for the baby. And this is just something that has to happen before it snows. And I'm afraid we're going to be working inside trying to get everything ready until it snows. So anyway, like I said earlier, we do have some special guests coming next video. So make sure you guys tune in for this. And if you guys did enjoy this video, watching us painstakingly mud and cover screws, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And this too. Oh yeah, look at that oh, short hair. It's so weird. Super summer status. <laughs> Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios.